Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to set PowerShell execution policy with group policy in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. As an IT professional using PowerShell to write scripts and automate tasks, it is important that you have a good understanding on how PowerShell execution policies work. PowerShell's execution policy is a safety feature that controls the conditions under which PowerShell loads configuration files and runs PowerShell scripts. It helps prevent malicious scripts from loading and executing on your device. The execution policy for your local device and current user is stored in the registry. For a specific PowerShell session, it is stored in memory and is lost when the session is closed. The default execution policy for Windows client computers is restricted, which is the most secure setting. In this mode, a user can run individual commands but cannot execute any PowerShell scripts. Let's go to our Windows 10 client computer. I have created a sample script file for this demo. Right click on start menu and select Windows PowerShell. By default, on Windows 10 or Windows 11 computers, when you try to run a script on PowerShell, it will fill with the error message, cannot be loaded because running scripts is disabled on this system. This is because PowerShell has an execution policy security feature that controls how to load configuration files and run scripts to prevent malicious code from running on the system. Type cmdelete get hyphen execution policy and hit enter key to check the current execution policy status. It is restricted. There are four execution policies restricted, all signed, remote signed and unrestricted. Type cmdelete get hyphen execution policy hyphen list and hit enter key to view the effective PowerShell execution policies. On a Windows computer, you can set an execution policy for the local computer for the current user of our particular session. You can also use group policy setting to set execution policies for computers and users in Active Directory domain. When you deploy a new group policy, you can either do it at the domain level or at the OU level. We suggest creating a new group policy object linking to a test OU that contains the pilot computers and test the result. If results were successful, then start deploying it to a larger group of computers. So let's create a group policy object to set PowerShell execution policy. Let's go to our domain controller VM. For this demo, we have single domain active directory forest named msftwebcast.com. This is our Windows Server 2022 domain controller. Log on to our Windows Server 2022 domain controller using our domain administrator account. I have created one OU named Taste Computers. I have stored the Taste Computer account under this OU. We will link the group policy object to this OU and later check its results on Windows 10 computer. To create a new group policy object, we need to open the group policy management console. From the server manager's tool menu, select group policy management. Expand group policy objects node. Right click the group policy objects and select new. You will be prompted for a name for this new group policy object. For example, you can specify the GPO name as set PowerShell execution policy and click OK. Now let's edit the group policy settings that are used to set PowerShell execution policy. Right click the newly created GPO and select edit. Maximize the group policy editor window. Go to computer configuration, policies, administrative templates, expand windows components and then click on windows powershell here look for the policy named turn on script execution right click this policy and select edit enable the turn on script execution policy 
and configure the execution policy based on the business requirement. Allow only signed scripts is equivalent to the all signed mode, in which only scripts signed by a trusted publisher are permitted to run. Allow local scripts and remote signed scripts allows any locally created script to be run. However, scripts originating from the internet must be signed by a trusted publisher to run. This configuration is equivalent to the remote signed mode. Allow all script settings will allow all scripts to be run. This is equivalent to unrestricted mode. If you disable this policy settings, no scripts are allowed to be run. This is equivalent to restricted mode. For example, let's set script execution policy to allow local scripts and remote signed scripts. Click Apply and OK. Close the Group Policy Management Editor. After the group policy object is configured, you need to link the GPO to an OU. Select a test OU, link the GPO and test the policy settings. Right click the test computer's OU and select link an existing GPO. Select set PowerShell execution policy from the list and click OK. The GPO is now linked to the OU. To test the results, let's go to our Windows 10 VM. Type command gp update slash force and hit enter key to manually update the group policy settings on this computer. The policy update has completed successfully. Now I'm going to restart this Windows 10 computer to apply the group policy settings correctly. After restart, sign into this Windows 10 computer using Deepak Patil's user account. Right click on start menu and select a Windows PowerShell. Type CMD late get hyphen execution policy and hit enter key. The status should be now changed to remote signed. Type CMD late get hyphen execution policy hyphen list and hit enter key. As we have selected allow local scripts and remote signed scripts option while configuring script execution group policy settings. And that is the reason why machine policy execution policy is set to remote signed. Type cd desktop and hit enter key. Let's try to run the custom local script which I have stored on the desktop. The script is executed successfully. This time you can run the script without any issue as we have allowed the local script execution. Before applying the GPO, the script execution was set to restricted. After applying the PowerShell execution group policy, the script execution is set to remote signed. This means that a GPO can be used to configure the script execution policy on Windows computers. Using the same steps, you can also set the PowerShell execution policy to restricted on domain computers using group policy. Let's do that. Let's go back to our domain controller. Okay, we are on our domain controller. Uh, let's add it, set PowerShell execution GPO. Let's right click on the GPO and select add it. Uh, let me maximize the window. Under computer configuration, expand policies, administrative templates, windows components and find windows PowerShell. Let's double click on the setting named turn on script execution. Earlier we have enabled this policy setting. Now we are going to disable this policy settings so no scripts are allowed to run. Let me select the disabled radio button, click apply and OK. Let me close it. Already the GPO is linked to our test computer's OU. Let's go back to our Windows 10 computer and let me type command gp update slash force and hit enter key. Group policy has been updated successfully. Now I'm going to restart this Windows 10 computer. After restart, sign into this Windows 10 computer using Deepak Patel's user account. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell. Let's type cmd late get hyphen execution policy and hit enter key. The status is now changed to restricted. Let's type cd desktop and hit enter key. Let's try to run custom local sample PowerShell script which we have stored on the desktop. 
Last hit enter key to run the PowerShell script. As you can see, the execution of PowerShell script is filled with the error cannot be loaded because running scripts is disabled on this system. This is because we have set PowerShell execution policy to restricted using the group policy settings. That's all for this video on how to set the PowerShell execution policy using group policy in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.